Welcome to ETF Leaders, powered by the New York Stock Exchange. I'm here with Brian Lake. He is the global head of ETF solutions at JP Morgan. Brian, always great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So Brian, tell me, what investor outcome or problem are you talking about today? I think everybody had a challenging year last year. I mean, bonds are down, stocks are down, geopolitical issues. It was hard. Definitely. So I think everybody's going back to the drawing board and saying, what can I do with my portfolio in 2023 to have the most success? And it's really important to us because what we do as an industry is we help people build their financial futures. So they're rethinking their portfolio. So what are we doing in our portfolios? They're doing two important things. One, they're embracing active management. 2022 active ETFs grew substantially. They accounted for 15% of flows. They've accounted for 23% of flows so far this year. Why? Because investors want portfolio managers that understand exactly what's in the portfolio. Why do I own this security and help me get the outcome that I'm driving? So that's one. Number two, bonds are back. Everybody's thinking about fixed income. There's now yield in fixed income. There hasn't been for years. And so thinking about what they're doing in their fixed income portfolio is very important. Okay, so tell me, do you have any ETFs that you'd like investors to consider? Yeah, of course. So at JP Morgan, we focus on investment management. We feel like we have some of the best investors in the world, and we're excited about delivering those capabilities through the ETF wrapper. Uh, JPST, which is listed at the New York Stock Exchange, largest active ETF in the world with $25 billion. This is a portfolio that's an ultra short portfolio, so less than 12 months, but is now yielding 5%. So a lot of investors were using the AG or were using some of these other indexes in their fixed income portfolio. You can get more yield than the YAG, the AG with less than 1% duration in JPST. So investors are using that in their portfolio. They also like value right now. Last year was growth. The year before we had innovation. This year, value. Companies that have strong balance sheets, that own stuff, that make stuff. We have Java, the active value ETF. It's managed by Claire Hart. And the performance versus the Russell 1000 value index last year was phenomenal. The index has limitations. It doesn't understand that risk matters, that valuation matters, that quality matters. Portfolio management teams understand those things and that goes into the portfolios. That's why Java was so successful last year. All right, so now tell me, where should investors go to learn more about your ETFs, your products, market views? Absolutely, jpmorgan.com. Google, <laughs> search ETFs, JP Morgan, find our tickers, they're there. I'm sure they're on the New York Stock Exchange website as well. There's lots of places that you can find us. Click on the banner ads and, uh, or call your favorite JP Morgan uh, person and we'd be, we'd be thrilled to help you. All right, well Brian, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. And that's ETF Leaders powered by the New York Stock Exchange.